In the Bible, Lot's wife is a figure first mentioned in Genesis chapter 19. The book of Genesis describes how she became a pillar of salt after she looked back at Sodom. She is not named in the Bible but is called Adu or Edith in some Jewish traditions. She is also referred to in the Deuterocanonical books at Wisdom 10-7 and the New Testament at Luke chapter 17 verse 32. Islamic accounts also talk about the wife of Prophet Lut Lot when mentioning people of Lut. Topic. Genesis narrative The story of Lot's wife begins in Genesis chapter 19 after two angels arrived in Sodom at eventide and were invited to spend the night at Lot's home. The men of Sodom were exceedingly wicked and prompted Lot to offer up these men, angels. Instead, Lot offered up his two daughters but they refused. As dawn was breaking, Lot's visiting angels urged him to get his family and flee, so as to avoid being caught in the impending disaster for the iniquity of the city. The command was given, Flee for your life. Do not look behind you, nor stop anywhere in the plain. Flee to the hills, lest you be swept away. While fleeing, Lot's wife turned to look back, and was turned into a pillar of salt. Topic. Composition The Hebrew verb used for Lot's wife, looking, back is tibit, tabit. Her looking back at Sodom differs in word usage to Abraham, looking, eskup sakup towards Sodom in 1816. Topic. Pillar of salt The story appears to be based in part on a folk legend explaining a geographic feature, a pillar of salt named Lot's Wife, is located near the Dead Sea at Mount Sodom in Israel. The Mishnah states that a blessing should be said at the place where the pillar of salt is. Other pillars are said to be at the crossing of the Red Sea as well as at the wall of Jericho. The term, Lot's wife, for such geographical features subsequently entered common parlance, as one of the outcrops comprising Long Ya Men was also nicknamed thus. The Jewish historian Josephus claimed to have seen the pillar of salt which was Lot's wife. Its existence is also attested to by the early church fathers Clement of Rome and Irenaeus. Topic. Jewish commentaries In Judaism, one common view of Lot's wife turning to salt was as punishment for disobeying the angel's warning. By looking back at the evil cities, she betrayed her secret longing for that way of life. She was deemed unworthy to be saved and thus was turned to a pillar of salt. Another view in the Jewish exegesis of Genesis chapter 19 verse 26, is that when Lot's wife looked back, she turned to a pillar of salt upon the sight of God, who was descending down to rain destruction upon Sodom and Gomorrah. One reason that is given in the tradition is that she turned back to look in order to see if her daughters, who were married to men of Sodom, were coming or not. Another Jewish legend says that because Lot's wife sinned with salt, she was punished with salt. On the night the two angels visited Lot, he requested that his wife prepare a feast for them. Not having any salt, Lot's wife asked her neighbors for salt, which alerted them to the presence of their guests, resulting in the mob action that endangered Lot's family. In the Midrash, Lot's wife's name is given as Edith. Topic. Islamic view Lut Arabic, Lao in the Quran is considered to be the same as Lot in the Hebrew Bible. He is considered to be a messenger of God and a prophet of God. In Islamic tradition, Lot Lut, Arabic, Lao lived in Ur and was a nephew of Ibrahim Abraham. He migrated with Ibrahim to Canaan and was commissioned as a prophet to the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. He was commanded by Allah to go to the land of Sodom and Gomorrah to preach monotheism and to stop them from their lustful and violent acts. Lut's messages were ignored by the inhabitants, prompting Sodom and Gomorrah's destruction. Though Lut left the city, his wife looked behind and was destroyed. In the Quran, Surah chapter 26 Ash Shu backquote era, the poets. So, we saved him and his family, all. Except an old woman among those who remained behind. Commentary, this was his wife, who was a bad old woman. She stayed behind and was destroyed with whoever else was left. This is similar to what Allah says about them in Surat al-A'raf and Surat Hud, and in Surat al-Hijr, where Allah commanded him to take his family at night, except for his wife, and not to turn around when they heard the sayah as it came upon his people. 
So they patiently obeyed the command of Allah and persevered, and Allah sent upon the people a punishment which struck them all, and rained upon them stones of baked clay, piled up. Other biblical references Lot's wife is named in Wisdom 10 to 7 and mentioned by Jesus at Luke chapter 17 verse 32 in the context of warning his disciples about difficult times in the future when the Son of Man would return. He told them to remember Lot's wife as a warning to not waver at that time. Topic. See also. List of names for the biblical nameless. Purusha Veira. Sodom and Gomorrah Bossus and Philemon Orpheus References